One of the few titans in the automobile industry is Cadillac. That does not imply, however, that their vehicles are trouble-free. In this short video, we'll discuss some of the most prevalent issues that Cadillac CTS owners have encountered from 2008 to 2019. But before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Water leaking. When the rain was a little too heavy, a strange issue that many users noticed between 2014 and 2016 was that water was leaking into the floor and side floor of the passenger side. But in some models, the problem can become so severe that water may even begin to leak into the driver's side. In that situation, finding it is fairly simple. Unfortunately, there is no quick fix for this issue because a water leakage problem screams manufacturing failure. Despite the fact that no Cadillacs have been recalled to date, many people have either purchased another car entirely or had their current one replaced. Supposedly, there are many different ways for water to enter a car, including through an open window, a crack in the windshield, or a clogged air conditioning drain tube. However, the leaky sunroof is frequently to blame, particularly in the Cadillac CTS. If you actually go through with repairing your sunroof, you'll have to pay between $295 and $325. Transmission Failure Many Cadillac CTS owners experienced their worst nightmare when their transmission gave out. When the gearbox in your car stops functioning, the vehicle no longer shifts into gear when it is started and instead begins to idle. This is known as a transmission failure. Due to the high volume of complaints from seasoned Cadillac CTS users, GM even had to recall models 2009 to 2010. Another fairly typical sign of a total transmission failure is the engine stalling or surging when you try to shift gears. A dead transfer box, which if unchecked corrupts the entire transmission system, has pretty much been the root of the transmission failure problem, particularly in Cadillacs. If your Cadillac experiences a complete transmission failure, your only option is to have the transmission system replaced, which will cost you between $3,000 and $4,500. Timing Chain The timing chain failure, which can even result in the entire engine suddenly seizing has been the most frequently reported problem by users, especially from the years 2008 to 2014. Finding the precise issue that leads to a timing chain failure can frequently be quite challenging because they experience wear and tear almost constantly while a car is in motion. The check engine light turns on and flashes as soon as the car detects. It is then your responsibility to immediately turn off the vehicle and call your mechanic before the vehicle seizes, otherwise, you might need to have the vehicle towed. As the timing chain connects the entire crankshaft to the camshaft, which includes many pistons and valves, other symptoms that appear when the car experiences a timing chain failure include bent valves or damaged pistons. Regardless of your level of experience, it can be very challenging to identify the root cause of the problem. However, neglecting routine engine maintenance and putting off an oil change are two common causes. This issue is easily fixable, but it will set you back between $18,000 and $2,000 to do so. Regular auto maintenance will significantly lower the likelihood of this issue. Transmission Shutters It's alarming how many different transmission issues there have been in the brief history of the Cadillac. Although it is hardly noticeable when it first starts, transmission shuttering obviously causes your car to shutter whenever you change gears. If left unchecked for a while, it occasionally results in total transmission failure. Slower gear changes, slower acceleration, and even an engine stalling are additional minor consequences of a shuttering transmission. For the majority of its customers, GM has been happy to address this problem by refilling the transmission fluid and, in some cases, replacing the entire transmission system. You have a number of options for reducing the overall cost of the shuttering problem. It will probably cost you about $331 to change the fluid if you choose the temporary solution. However, it will probably cost you between $3,000 and $4,000 to change the entire system, which is the long-term solution. Spider Cracks The spider crack developing on the touchscreen is a problem that is more bothersome than serious because a touchscreen can be replaced easily, but it does make you angry at the manufacturers. There isn't much you can do when a spider crack appears on the screen other than stare at the enormous crack on your cue screen. Your touchscreen may occasionally freeze in addition to developing a crack, but this is generally very unlikely. However, you might have to deal with some of the screen losing its responsiveness because the sensors there might just stop working. A prolonged exposure to the sun, which can be quite harmful if the screen absorbs too many ultraviolet rays from it, may also be the cause of the screen freezing up and the spider crack that develops on it. In order to prevent your car from overheating, try to park it as often as you can in the shade. Once you notice the spider crack, your only choice will be to spend about $1,500 on a new screen replacement. Plunk from drivetrain 
Typically, a strange clunk sound coming from your drivetrain indicates a vacuum pump issue, which could cause issues with your braking and emissions systems. It can sometimes affect your engine's camshaft, which can lead to catastrophic engine failure if it becomes too severe. The vacuum pump's loud clunking noise when you gas up your car is typically caused by inefficient internal parts that were used in its construction. However, it might also be because of the vacuum pump's poor construction. The only way to address the issue is to completely replace the vacuum pump and choose one with a shear pin that doesn't damage your engine's camshaft. The vacuum replacement can run you about $340. Dead Transfer Box it wouldn't be unreasonable to say that a dead transfer box is probably the Cadillac CTS's most frequent issue, particularly since the 2008 model year. Some owners were extremely irate because they had to replace the transfer box on vehicle that had barely been driven out of the garage and had logged more than 30,000 miles. A dead transfer box is a catastrophic issue that can cause your car to come to a complete stop or fail to shift gears in the middle of the road, similar to the timing chain failure where replacing the car's entire transmission system is your only remaining choice. If the damage is severe enough, a dead transfer box may even strip your entire spindle, making it useless and necessitating its replacement. The transmission output shaft's hardness is almost always a contributing factor to a dead transfer box problem, which is a fairly specific problem. We can therefore conclude that GM did not do a good job of properly hardening the transmission output shaft of all these cars based on how frequently the issue manifested. The majority of the time, changing the entire transmission system is required to solve the issue. Paint coat coming off. Taking a break from some of the more serious items on this list, we've chosen to mention a problem that has plagued the Cadillac CTS for more than five years, from the 2013 model to the 2019 model, but which is easily fixable without shelling out a lot of money. We're referring to the user complaint that the paint coat starts to peel off after only a few months of use. The removal of a fresh coat of paint can expose the body of the car to rust and oxidation, which can even harm the skeleton of the car itself because it has to do with how the car actually looks. The car's appearance when the paint starts to peel off presents a much bigger issue from the user's point of view than this, and no customer expects or settles for this after paying the full price for the car. Since the paint should be durable enough to last for at least a few years, poor paint jobs are usually the expected culprits when this happens. But frequent instances of the paint peeling off suddenly can also be brought on by prolonged exposure to the sun's ultraviolet rays. You'll probably need to repaint that area of the car to fix the issue, which can cost anywhere from $300 to $1,000 depending on the area that needs to be painted. Vehicle's Q-Screen Freezing It's crucial that you are fully informed before making your purchase given that this issue has appeared to persist in the Cadillac CTS for a number of years. For those who have experience using touch screens, a freeze typically denotes a complete failure or halting of the system. The Q screen on this Cadillac occasionally stops responding to touches, and that is exactly what happens. Rebooting is not an option either because the screen simply stops responding altogether. One of the causes of a screen freeze is allegedly prolonged exposure to the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. At that point, however, the only thing you can do is get the screen replaced because even if it eventually starts working again, it will never be the same. Water or other liquid spills may occasionally result in screen faults, in which case you will unquestionably need to purchase a new screen. It shouldn't cost you a lot of money to decide to purchase a new screen to replace your old one. In general, you should expect to pay $1,500 or so to replace your screen. Engine keeps running even after car is turned off. A problem that shouldn't exist in a Cadillac CTS's fuel-injected engine, the engine continuing to run even after the car has been turned off, can become dangerous if it begins to experience violent convulsions. This typically indicates that there is heat present in the engine combustion chamber to maintain operation and fuel consumption. A dieseling engine can consume the majority of your fuel overnight if you forget to check on it after you turn it off, which would be a huge loss for you given the current rate of inflation around the world. There are two issues with the car that might be the root of this occurrence. The main power relay and the element of the ignition switch. You'll likely need to replace one of them after diagnosing the issue. This will probably cost between $114 and $167. What are the worst years for the Cadillac CTS? The Cadillac CTS has remained one of the world's fittest vehicles because the frequency of issues has steadily declined over time. You should get between 250,000 and 350,000 miles out of this excellent car before it requires major maintenance or tuning. Having said that, the Cadillac CTS had its worst years from 2008 to 2009 due to a plethora of transmission, engine, and drivetrain problems that nearly rendered them undrivable for the average person. 
The failure of the timing chain, an essential component of the transmission system of the car, was one issue in particular that nearly put an end to the development of the automobile altogether. The years between 2009 and 2012 would have to rank as the second worst because the car was still plagued by engine stalling and dealing issues during that time. For greater reliability, we advise avoiding models 2008 to 2012 and choosing the newer models if you're looking for a Cadillac CTS.